doing a little bit of prepping here and Joe doesn't know about it but uh, I'm doing a documentation here and I think he really likes that being on the video camera, right? It's a documentation <laughs> How great you are. How great I am. <laughs> it makes it clear. <laughs> well, Taking not? apart goes quickly. Okay, wait for the <laughs> Yeah, we are at day 83, just taking things apart. Day and it's gonna take 300 more days to get it back together. So, but so I think we'll be doing it in three hours. I think I need another beer. <laughs> <laughs> we go get another beer. What do you think? Yeah, it's all done. Here we go. My tires came in today for my trip. Great. Cool. We're on US 19. Gonna take a ride pretty soon. Getting to high tech. We are on the most dangerous highway of the United States. It records the most accidents because of so many traffic lights here and the heavy traffic that's going on right now. It's pretty calm actually. I think we got a turn in here. Yep, that's it. Panorama Avenue. There we are. So just brought the wheels and the tires to high tech. Welcome to the real world. I'd like to be here. I think it's a cooler place. So now we're gonna do some welding at my pipe here. Joe is not here yet. He had a interview at Harley Davidson Temper. It really went well and looks like he's got a new job. Just picked up the tire and went for a quick inspection if it still fits in there. Looks pretty good and wild. We got some orange peel on my rim and pulley and this. But you know what, as the painter said, you're not gonna see it later once everything is installed. That's what you call American powder quality. <laughs> what you doing there? Don't wanna get too close to the pipe. So I've got the turn signals done, just need to be installed. Well, there's a little bit of a story to the fork issue. Something is missing here. Something you may not notice, but we are waiting for the gators. We had them actually from Hydeck a while ago. What we've got here is 39 millimeter fork, but the gators were 41. So 
not gonna fit in to the end of the whole story. Might do that personally. Bring this fast. Wrapping. Today we also installed the rail in the rear, wired up the turn signals. Our customized air cleaner cover is on there. Looks great. And Joey did the extension of the harness, the wiring part. Because with the higher handlebar, we need to go more up. And my fat ass is getting the police hit. The gator boots hopefully come in tomorrow so we can mount the front end. Making progress here, getting the fork together. I don't know if I, I don't know if you should go. I'm gone. This sounds like a good show. It's the first time it's coming to Florida. Okay. There's Mark is playing with his motorcycle parts again. <laughs> He's getting very good at it. I think I just found out how it works. Just screw myself. Just keep screwing it, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, what happened here? Marcus, you're supposed to put it, the kickstand on the other side. Why is that? Because there's nothing on the other side. You know what? We are almost done here. And at the last day, Joe, Joey decides to pick up his comfortable lift. Make life easier. Okay, now we get the sucker up and running. When you put gas in it, that's it. There's Marcus putting fuel into his motorcycle. Ready to it's take it for a ride. Thirsty. Marcus is ready to go. That's it. No more. All right, let's go for a ride. <laughs> I've put it into first gear, and then we thought, hmm, transmission oil? Maybe we should put in some. What's the smoke? The engine is blowing up, Jesus. What are you doing with it, Joy? It's the muffler, the wrap of the exhaust. Now Joy is going for a test ride. I just took a run. Huh? This is a sweet ride. Yeah, that is. I like the tires. They feel pretty good on the road.